Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video to show this cool plugin called TIG Cut and Fill. It's less than 20 bucks, I think, off the extension warehouse. And um, this is a site that I'm working on right now. And you can see the proposed contours or the existing contours that I was given by my surveyor. And then I was able to put a skin to it. This TIG uh, Cut and Fill plugin will, when you first choose that mesh that's created, this, uh, this one icon here will add this skirt that you see around there. And plus, it gives it its volume. Uh, or makes it a solid so you can see how many cubic feet it is and you have to name the existing site or that group uh, EXTG for existing as simple as that alright then I went through and, and created my final or my proposed site so I'll cut that on where I took the house uh, and drew the you know erase the use the uh, hidden geometry but you can cut that on and just deleted all the geometry around the house put the house in there and actually drew the grade against the house and then rebuilt the topography around it so you can see that's the that's the proposed grade and um, so I want to know how much cut or how much fill I have to see do I need to haul in dirt or haul dirt away so what you do is you name this one doesn't doesn't matter what you name this one you just make sure it's a solid in this case I called it proposed but then you pick the two so you should have both of them selected both of those groups and then you hit this um, cut fill tool and it's going to calculate it so I want it in cubic yards and you can see down below where it's uh, doing its thing and um, when it's all said and done it'll tell me uh, you know I think I've got more dirt I have a deficit of dirt so I'm going to need some dirt here it says that I have 104 cubic yards that I need cool thing it does it in um, colors it so as long as the solids are done in their default colors it then creates a group that I'll just move off to the side here and you can see that uh, the green is the cut and red is the fill so that tells me that I've got 104 yards of dirt that I gotta bring in which is about what seven or eight truckloads of dirt if I wanted to make it look this way so gives me a much better idea than just eh, we may need dirt or we may need to get rid of dirt so very useful plug-in very inexpensive for SketchUp you can always take your soft plan models bring them over into SketchUp to do the sites uh, and, and do this trick so just wanted to share thanks